Hi guys. So as you're probably all aware, I absolutely love the slap chop painting technique. And I know it's not new. And I know it's been around for ages and it's been called other names. But we're not going to get into that debate right now. But all I know is it's made someone like me who didn't like painting be able to paint now. Absolutely love it. And yeah, a bit of paint like this. So this is the first thing I did using the, uh, the slap chop paint technique. And well, to say I was impressed would be an understatement. So this is the first kill team I made as well. Um, used the technique that I'd seen, well, the day before I painted these. And it looked so easy, but with great results. I thought, yeah, I'd give that a go. And here we are two months later. I've painted, well, I'm on my back, ninth kill team, as well as numerous other figures. And yeah, it's taken someone who used to hate painting and, well, never used to do it, to someone who actually loves it now. And if you're one of the few people that hasn't heard of the slap chop painting technique, it's simply taking your figure, priming them in black, then going over them doing a dry brush in grey, and finally a dry brush in white. And then we're on to using, well, the contrast paints, or speed paints, dipping inks, whatever you've got. And if you've seen my recent videos, you'll often see that when I do the dry brushing, I kind of like the look of them. And I've often said that I want to do a full kill team and leaving them in that dry brushed state. So that's what I'm doing in this video. And I really fancied doing it with the Plague Marines kill team, as I was going to swap the heads out for skeleton heads. So I thought that would look even better. But obviously I haven't got the Plague Marine kill team and I didn't want to spend all that money to buy the team just to sort of do or try out this technique. So instead I remembered I've got a 3D printer. So let's 3D print some parts. So I went online, found some marine looking guys and this is them. And as you can see I'm using the Anycubic Photon Mono X to print them out. And well I can get loads on there which is pretty awesome. In fact the plate on this printer is so big I can get all the, uh, the bits I need done in one go pretty cool so yeah simply slot the old USB in the side of the printer push a few buttons and then away she goes and the great thing about resin printers doesn't matter if you print in one figure or ten they'll all come out in the same sort of time because um, obviously it's to do with the height of the well the tallest figure so literally two hours later I think it was two hours and a couple of minutes um, yeah this came out and yeah no issues at all everything's printed really well um, and yeah can't wait to uh, scrape these off and clean them up and get them ready for painting. So obviously because I did put these quite near to each other, they kind of come off in one little block which is cool. But as you can see by the size of the plate, I uh, well there's room to have got loads more on there which is <laughs> which is pretty cool. So I probably could have done two different kill teams in the uh, in the one print. So I put them in a little bath of IPA. Again I've got the any cubic wash and go sort of station which makes things a whole lot easier. So yeah put them in that uh, 10 minutes ish I think maybe, maybe a bit more. Um, they came out and then put them in some lovely warm water as this obviously helps get the uh, supports off. And the great thing with the, um, the miniatures that I've got here, they came pre-supported, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, these things just come off, no issues whatsoever. Again, apologies for the, the odd little bit of um, interruption in the video. Really not too sure what's going on with my, uh, my webcam. It seems to have a few, a few technical issues. Uh, that may well be down to my, uh, my PC being about 10 years old. But hey ho, never mind. So back to these. Yeah, say so they come off so well. Uh, lovely bit of definition in all of them. Uh, no issues at all in the prints, and no issues taking them off, which is uh, which is great stuff. And then onto the old slap chop painting technique. Although obviously in this case, I'm only kind of doing well two thirds of the slap chop. So yeah, let me know what you think this uh, this technique should be called. Well, other than just dry brushing, I guess. So there's all my bits laid out, nice and clean, ready to uh, well, ready to assemble. Uh, obviously not using the cement glue in this case, because obviously this isn't the uh, the normal sort of plastic from the uh, the figures that I get. So yeah, having to use sort of normal super glue, uh, but all the bits go together, nice and easy. And the great thing, obviously, with this sort of um, set that I printed out, you could literally well, you can make these things up however you like. And as I say, I swapped out the the heads that came with this thing for some skeleton heads, just because I wanted really to want these to look a bit more a bit more creepy looking. They did come with backpacks, but I didn't like the backpacks they came with. So as you can see, I am using the Warhammer backpacks just because, well, I prefer those backpacks. So I'm really pleased with how these have come out. And yeah, I can't wait to use these in the kill team. Um, I'm kind of playing once a week-ish uh, with a mate, a mate of mine. So yeah, these are what I'm going to sort of be playing in the next one, which, uh, which I really can't wait. So as you can see, yeah, all primed in black. I use the good old sort of rattle can for that. Uh, many because I haven't got a the old um, brush paint sprayer thingy, what's it, you know what I mean, um, paint sprayer, 
I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's just a simply a case of going over a uh, good old grey dry brush. Um, yeah, so this really is, like obviously you say, doing a dry brush, I just love the fact, obviously, it hits all the raised areas, gives them a light sort of dusting or light coating, uh, but definitely leaves lots of darker, shadowy areas. And so as I say, if you watched a few of my videos, you'll have seen me say quite a few times that when I do this sort of stage, I really liked it. Um, I love how the things look. But obviously, I do love how they look eventually when I get some paint on them uh, or some colour. Uh, but yeah, with these guys, because I say, I think these are sort of spooky looking things. I kind of almost wanted them to be, well, ghostly. Which I think really works well with the uh, the Gallo Dark Space Hulk. As obviously it is something that's been floating around for hundreds of years. And yeah, it will certainly have some sort of spectral ghosty ghoulie. Um, well, kill teams on it. So yeah, awesome. So that's the, obviously the grey then dried. Um, and then yeah, same sort of thing. Going over with white. Um, this time there's probably even less paint on here. So this really is just capturing the uh, the outer edges. And yeah, absolutely loving how these look. I say, especially with the, the skeleton heads. Um, I think this really has worked out rather well. Well, I may still will get the, um, the sort of Warhammer um, Plague Marines. And do the similar sort of thing to them. But then actually paint them up. Just because obviously they do look more gruesome. With, uh, well, lots of them seem to have their guts hanging out. Or tentacles or boils, or whatever it is they've got going on. So, yeah, I may well eventually get around to doing a Plague Marine kill team. Um, if anyone wants to send me one, yeah, by all means, please do so. That would be awesome. Uh, but for these guys, yeah, absolutely love loved how they look. So, usual thing, I then sort of take them off and put them on uh, clear bases. And this is just where I want to remind everyone, when using a scalpel or a sharp blade of any kind, always cut away from yourself. And this is something I normally do, um, apart from a few days ago where I somehow didn't and yeah, sliced my finger um, quite wide open. But it's always one of those great lessons where once you do it, you definitely won't do it again. <laughs> so yeah, I am now obviously, as you can see, slicing these off facing downwards. And I mean, they always come off really easy. It was just one figure I had that didn't come off. And then when the blade did finally cut through the feet, um, yeah, it was flying across the desk into my finger. So a quick little bit of light sanding underneath just to uh, make sure there's nothing under there. And obviously that way they will sort of adhere and stick to the clear bases. I get all my clear bases from Fluid 3D Workshop. There is a link in the description, guys. They do all kinds of bases, obviously clear ones like this, different sizes, different thicknesses, as well as your normal sort of black ones. Um, they do oval ones, they, they do everything. So go and have a check them out, guys. Uh, link in the description. That's Fluid 3D Workshop. And then, yeah, a little dab of glue at the bottom. And, yeah, these go on nice and easy. I always try and make sure I get them in spot the first time because, obviously, you don't want to slide it around because the glue will make a mess of the clear base. And, yeah, that's it. They're all uh, all ready for my next adventure into the uh, the Space Hulk Gallo Dark. Okay, enough of that. Let's see these in all their glory with, uh, well, with my good old smoke machine in the background. Okay guys, that's it. Don't forget to leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. And obviously what you thought of these figures. I say, I think they're pretty cool. And I can't wait to use them in my next game of Kill Team. I just want to say a big shout out and thank you to all my patrons for helping sponsor the channel. It's much appreciated. And these guys obviously get to see behind the scenes pictures and images and stuff of what I'm currently working on before it comes to YouTube. Also want to thank my sponsors Easy Roller Dice and Any Cubic for also helping this channel sort of to keep growing and obviously so I can keep producing all these videos. If you're new here and like what I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell, as I do kind of make a couple of videos every week. Okay guys, that's it. You all take care. Bye for now.